Well, we're hooked into to a decent sized bass. Let's see if we can get him up. Oh man, he's, he's good size. Check out that bass, guys. All right, buddy. welcome to the channel in today's video I want to do a walkthrough of my new kayak it is the boat Zeppelin Aero 10 we'll start at the front we'll work our way to the back let's get started okay let's get started here on the front you've got this carry handle here nice and convenient for getting the kayak in and out of the water you have this splash shield right here on the front of the kayak this is just to help to keep the cockpit dry when paddling out in the water you have these two side pontoons here and they have independent inflation valves here and then the center board also has its own valve. Uh, a little bit of specifications about this kayak. It is 10 feet long. The width is 38 inches across. The depth is 10 inches. The weight of the kayak is 37.5 pounds and the Capacity the total weight capacity of this kayak is 300 pounds the materials for this kayak. It's made out of a Boat aero technology. It's a PVC plastic material Here you see the the boat logo boat Zeppelin It has the Ford handle here Bungee straps here to keep your belongings um Right in here, it has this magnet pod. If you guys get the uh, the cup that goes with it, you can put your drink there. These are tie downs for the seat. Side handles here to get the kayak in and out of the water easily. Right over here, you see it has these four D rings. At the front of the kayak, you have this keel guard here. That's just to help prevent damage to the front of the kayak if you run aground. Here, there's a mount in the front and the back of the kayak for GoPro. I'll talk a little bit about the seat. Uh, I do have the seat. The seat is inflatable, but I didn't like the seat very much. Uh, it wasn't very comfortable for me, so I decided to go with uh, just a regular stool. Install these little eyelets, and then you have these straps that secure to each side here. And then I pretty much put a stadium seat with a cushion here. Here you got the ice chest. The ice chest is mounted on the back of the kayak with these two straps. And this right here, you can see the, uh, the tie downs there. As far as what I keep in the ice chest, I keep it real simple. Inside you have the fin, tackle tray, dry box, and other accessories that I'll need while I'm underway. Go ahead and close this. This ice chest is a Magellan 30 quart. It has four rod holders, as you can see here. It's secured on both sides. On the back of the kayak, I keep my net and the fish bag. 
underneath of here you guys can see these are these are mounts that's if you want to uh, purchase the additional accessory from boat for the bucket rack and I'll show you guys that here in just a moment the kayak does come with a five-piece paddle from boat this is the five-piece paddle it's fully adjustable and I have it set at 255 centimeters because the kayak is fairly wide it's 38 inches wide um, the paddle in my opinion you need to have it adjusted out a little bit further to accommodate for the pontoons when you purchase the kayak it comes with this bag very very large sturdy bag you have your owner's manual and the repair kit and this is the kayak seat that comes with it like i said earlier uh, i wasn't wasn't a big fan of the seat it's just in my opinion it's not very comfortable but it is a nice seat if you want to just use it for the beach can inflate this fairly quickly These are the uh, rack receivers that come with the kayak, and then it has a pump. Let's talk a little bit about the inflation, the pontoons on the side. It's rated here, maximum inflation is three PSI. As you can see here, max inflation is three PSI. And on the center board here, the center board max inflation is at 10. 10 minimum 10 psi maximum 15 psi the total time for inflation is not too terribly long the pontoons probably about a minute or two and then the center board i would say about six seven minutes to inflate the center board all right looking at the kayak from the back this is what the rear looks like let's go ahead and flip this kayak over so you guys can see the bottom side. So we have flipped the kayak over. This is what the bottom side looks like. It comes with these two side bite fins that's molded right into the kayak. And then you have this larger, this larger center fin this is a six inch center fin. It fits right into this mount and then you clip it right into place right there. It tracks perfectly, perfectly fine on the water. I did not have any issues when I was out testing. Here you can see the logo, Zeppelin, Aerotech inflatable system. Here's the logo here, boat. And then over here towards the front, of the kayak you have this keel guard right here just to protect the kayak in case you hit something very very wide 38 inches wide very very stable i was able to stand up on this kayak comfortably as you guys can see right here they have these cutouts two on this side and then over here you have two over here as well as well as on this side these act as scupper holes basically if you get water inside the cockpit all the water will drain out here in these scupper holes let's go ahead and uh, move to testing so you guys can see how this kayak performs out on the water First catch of the day. This is the boat Zeppelin 10 foot. Very, very stable, very, very stable kayak. I've been uh, paddling around this morning, just testing it out. 
very very stable I'm able to uh, get a, quite a bit of speed on it if I uh, put some effort as far as stand up let's take a real quick look here definitely can stand up doesn't feel tipsy at all the uh, the board here is very similar to a uh, just a, a regular paddle board but you got these side pontoons here and it just makes it very very stable so right now I'm just uh, stand up stand up paddling right now and I don't feel tipsy at all not too bad of a platform I think this uh, this is much better than the uh, other paddle board that I have as far as stability wise but speed it's not as fast as the uh, the other paddle board Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's try to uh, let's try to do some stand up. Actually, you guys, you know what? Let's see how see how you guys can see that I can completely turn around, access my uh, my ice chest, get all my rods. If I have any gear back here, I need to get to a lot of space very very stable let's go ahead and stand up Make a cast. Yeah, I'm totally, totally uh, loving this kayak. I like these pontoons here on the side. It just makes me feel so much more stable. And I have all this deck space right here to work with. Uh, if I catch a fish or if I do any kind of work, got a lot of deck space and all these uh, bungee ties here for my tools. Totally, totally uh, loving this kayak. These adjustable paddles this is a five piece paddle um, I have it set at 255 centimeters for the length because it's pretty wide this is 38 38 inches wide on the uh, the kayak so the paddle the length is a little bit longer than my other one I think it's a uh, 249 centimeter thing is just a lot of fun to paddle as far as the uh, response it seems to respond pretty well um, turning it can be uh, can take some effort definitely take some effort to turn this thing
stand up paddle is is great very stable guys i hope you guys found the information useful on the boat zeppelin aero 10 this is the inflatable kayak if you guys enjoy the video do me a favor hit the subscribe give me a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it until next time guys i'll see you take care bye